Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how to draw a line in a table after each change in a list of one of the columns in that table. We're going to show two different methods, both using conditional formatting. So let's see how we can do this in Excel. So here's our scenario. We have this table here, and you can see column B has salespeople. And every place that the name changes from Ed to Jack, to Jack to Jane, Jane to Terry, etc., I want to draw a line just to make it a little more obvious where those changes are. So we're going to use conditional formatting to do that. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the range of the table here and then go up to conditional formatting, say new rule, and use a formula to determine which cells to format. And I'm going to type the formula equals dollar sign B2 does not equal dollar sign B3. So what I'm saying is any time that the cell that's are in the the cell that's in column B does not equal the cell directly below it, then draw a line or format it however I'm going to set up that format. Notice I put a dollar sign to lock the column, but not one to lock the row. So let's see how this is going to work. I'm going to click on Format, and in this case I'm going to choose Border. You have Number, Font, I'm going to choose Border, and I'm going to select this line here, the bottom one, and I'll put it at the bottom and I'll say OK and OK and now you see Excel has drawn a line in the table every place that the name changes Terry to Tina, Jane to Terry, etc. Now this line is not that bold and some people have asked for it to be a little bit more bold but unfortunately if we take a look at the conditional formatting options that we have, if I choose Edit Rule and I go to Format, you'll see there's no option here to make it any thicker. That's really all that you have here. So I found a workaround that can be used to do this. So let's go to the second worksheet we have here. And now I'm going to basically do the reverse. I'm going to choose the entire table and what I'm going to do is select borders, go to more borders, and I'm going to choose this bold line here. I'm going to leave the color as black, and I'm going to put it at the cross part there. And I'll say OK. And now that puts the border everywhere. I'm underlining at every line in my table. Now I'll select my entire table. Go to Conditional Formatting, New Rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, and then I'm going to type equals dollar sign B2 equals dollar sign B3. So not does not equal, but in this case, when they are equal, I'm going to change all the other lines. Then I'll say Format, I'll select say this light dotted line here, I'll put it at the bottom, I'll say OK and OK, and now what it did was it took away the bold lines that I had and just put a very light line everywhere where the item in column B equaled the one below. As soon as it did not equal the one below, it did not apply that conditional formatting. So this is how you can make that line even bolder. So the first way we were able to put a light line when we said conditionally format that where the item in column B does not equal the one below. In the second option though, we made everything a dark bold line and then said put a light line every place where the item in column B does equal the one below it. And that's how you can accomplish this in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.